Hello students, so coming back to chapter number 11, that is Biotechnology, Principle and Processes. Today in this video class, we will discuss about the uh, characteristic of one of the important tools of recombinant DNA, that is vector or cloning vector. Now come to cloning vector. So from earlier discussion, we know that during recombinant DNA technology, a molecule is required to transfer the desired DNA into the host. And this molecule that is going to transfer desired DNA into the host is vector or we call it carrier. So when we say vector, this vector is to be a DNA molecule. Which DNA molecule? Which can carry or which can transfer the desired DNA into the host. Okay. And we also know that plasmid, an extra chromosomal DNA structure which is present in bacteria, it can function as vector. And other molecule can also function as vector. But here the important point is that if a molecule is to function as vector, the molecule should possess the following features like they should have their own original replication, they should have a selectable marker and they should have a cloning site. So these are the three important features of a molecule that will function as vector. Aduna kadoke kanda during recombinant DNA technology, molecule ma dakarta ma molecule na kanda which can transfer the desired DNA into the host. Aduna sigi molecule host the desired DNA transfer to the apoina kari kadoke kanda vector na taka carrier kawe. Aro hari ba vector na taka carrier se kanawa kada pano DNA wake kada pani. Aduna vector the oripa extra chromosomal DNA structure by the name plasmid. Hari ba plasmid se it can function as vector or carrier. Adubu, mana taba atubu molecules will function to buye. Adubu ibataragadi, molecule amana, vector in egg toge habataragadi, then that molecule should possess three important features. A siki three important features in se, kanakanakanda number one da, origin of replication yawadab. Second point da, they should have a selectable marker. Third point da, cloning or reconversion site yawadab. Or hariba property um se, molecule amada yawam bataragadi. That molecule can function as cloning vector or carrier. Now let us discuss the three factor one by one. So first come to origin of replication. Origin of replication. So this origin of replication it is the sequence which is present in the DNA from where the replication will begin or from where the replication will initiate it. That is a cloning vector should possess origin of replication. Why? So that it can self replicate inside the host cell. This is the point. Okay. And another important property of original replication is that it is responsible for controlling the copy number of linked DNA. That means uh, if you want to produce the desired DNA or target DNA in large number, then you have to link that DNA in those vectors whose origin support high copy number. That means to produce many copies of the target, uh, target DNA. The target DNA should be cloned in a vector whose vector whose origin support high copy number. This is the point. Aduna original replication se kariyo hai kanda DNA ki sequence mati tu ni kam sequence na kanda from where the replication will begin. Adu ka hari pa sequence hai magi important role hum slide diva. Ma kariyo hai kanda na na apam bad zin to kya am paru subang am gehe bado adu sumana regulate tabe bado. Adu ita gadi desired DNA target DNA ma na na last number de paru subang gehe bata gadi. Karamba vector da clone to gani hai kanda na sai vector do karma vector whose origin support high copy number adumba da kena clone to kumsa ngi adui tadi you can produce the target DNA in large number. So these are all about origin of replication. And next come to another important feature of cloning vector that is a selectable marker. So here selectable marker it is a segment of DNA or it is a zin. And they will help in artificial selection or artificial identification of recombinant DNA from non recombinant DNA as well as transforming host cell from non transforming host cell. Okay, and these selectable marker are often act by those genes which are resistant to uh, antibiotic. Aduna selectable marker high tardy mass of Kananwe Kanda vector yoba nahi dna mate moi ga dini jinamani sina kari kana han gera kanda na sai lai pa dna se yan janare have the recombinant or a yan janadri non recombinant have the difference at the mating pangane plus ho cell si da recombinant dna hab se lagadi ma transform tore transformant or re natra hab san dri non transformant or have the adu khandu pa mating pangane aduga 
Marina selectable marker se kanana ek to ki hara kanda ka sai particular jindu na which are resistant to antibiotic so this is about selectable marker next come to another features of cloning vector okay that is cloning site or recognition site so here cloning site or recognition site they represent that area or that region where you can insert the desired dna that means if a molecule is to function as cloning vector that molecule should possess cloning site where the desired DNA can be inserted okay and usually only one cloning site should be present because if there are more than one cloning site it will causes DNA fragmentation and definitely it will disrupt the process of gene cloning okay so this is about uh, cloning or recognition site I do not think important feature of cloning vector say can I know how can it is the cloning site or recognition site Haribal Zagase, particular reason, Kram Zaganakan, the Apama DNA, the insert of Humzagane. Aruna, Beta Mata, usually only one cloning site should be present. I'm thinking about the Nipa, Adubu, more than one Yorogati, Kari complicacy lap, Payaganakan, it can lead to DNA fragmentation. Karikino Harakanda, the Nasagi, Beta Duda, more than one cloning site Yorobanina, different enzyme, Katarane, Aduna, it can lead to DNA fragmentation, Aduna Katarani, Nagi, Zin cloningi mechanism, Akavala. So this is the importance of cloning site. So this original replication, selectable marker, cloning site or recognition site, these are the three important features of a cloning vector. And you can take this PBR322 as an example of cloning vector. And this PBR322, it is a uh, artificially produced cloning vector which has been modified from natural plasmid of E. coli. So next come to PBR322. So this PBR322 it is a plasmid uh, and this is the first widely used artificial cloning vector which was created in 1977 by two scientists okay and here we are going to uh, discuss in details about this PBR322. So in PBR322 uh, here P it represent plasmid, BR it represent the scientists who construct this plasmid and here B represent Bolivar and R represent Rodix. And 3 to 2, it is a number given to distinguish this plasmid from other plasmid which were developed in the same lab. Okay, so this is about the full form of PBR 3 to 2. Now, PBR 3 to 2 say, can I know how can I produce of artificially produce of a cloning vector? Amani, Aduga says that P is here, plasmid represent the B ga argasina, can I mean to bono hagi, scientist to me, can I scientist to me, C vector say, producer of scientist to me, B na. Bolivar and Rodix have any and three to two sina when number and people in a lab the plasma and presovi other people number duni. So this is about PBR three to two. And this PBR three to two it also poses the three important features of a cloning vector that is original replication. So here ORI it represents the original replication from where the replication will begin. It also poses selectable marker. So here, uh, selectable markers are represented by antibiotic resistance gene, uh, that is AMPR and TETR. Here, AMP, TET, they are antibiotic, ampicillin, in and tetracycline, and AMPR, TETR, it represents those genes which are resistant to that particular antibiotic. And it also poses cloning site. So here, uh, the two antibiotic resistance gene, they can also act as a restriction site or cloning site where the target DNA can be inserted and in addition to this it also possesses zinc like ROP ROP and this ROP ROP it calls for protein which are involved in the process of replication of plasmid and here uh, two unique recognition site for PST1 and PBU1 are also located in the region of AMPR and BAM S1 and SAL1 are also present within the region of TETR. So these are some other features of uh, PPR322. I have the PPR322 say, Bacteria mo ibagi property of mochu shi aur iba. Kana yaure ORI, it represent original replication. Aduka TETR, AMPR say, moi kana represent aure, they represent selectable marker. Say is the AMP, TET say, tetracycline, ampicillin have any arsena, resistant abogen have any. So AMPR, TETR say, kana no selectable marker ni. Plus, Cloning size we have a selectable marker in a representative of AMPR, TTR, and we cloning size function to be a desired DNA to insert to be a 
Sigi Matakta, a top of Zin Matim Yauri, Rob Havama ROP. Sinekadore, it also called for protein Hamnikama protein, Hakanda, Nasagi, plasmid, haters, and replicate the with the Dakarta protein door, a do a protein door, a do produce to a do cotoba, Zin Matimani. Aduga, Sesta, Tonga Tonba, Rexus and Enzyme Ham Yauri, Sesta. Nagi, AMP, Argizagasida, Unique Weba, Reconnaissance, Sayoriba, and Zam Anigi Kanakano, PST one, PB one. And by the Dana, Nasai TT are using the Su, and Zam Anigi, Reconnaissance, Sayori Kanano, BAM is one ga, Salwalka. So, this is about the important features of a cloning vector that is PBR three to two. Now, let's see how this uh, antibiotic resistance in function as selectable marker. So, when the vector uh, does not have an insert, that means when the vector is non recombinant then definitely it will be able to grow in a culture medium containing both ampicillin and tetracycline this is because the vector have a gene which will make them resistant to antibiotic that is uh, ampicillin and tetracycline but uh, in case of recombinant dna that is when the desired dna is inserted in the region of tetr then definitely uh, this recombinant DNA will not be able to grow in a culture medium containing tetracycline because uh, recombinant DNA lost tetracycline resistance gene due to the insertion of the desired DNA but still it can grow in ampicillin containing medium so like this uh, this antibiotic resistance gene can function as selectable marker to differentiate recombinant DNA from non-recombinant DNA okay when you say in this case, you can the PBR three to the antibiotic resistant with the zinna, quite a selectable marker, or you know, have a dot, say out of the name. Aduna Kayumba PBR three to two, non recombinant DNA with the Taraga D. Hariba, Victor say, Makana the growth of Bogamani, culture medium, the Kamba culture medium, the emphysilina traga, tetra sacrina of culture medium and growth of Bogamani, Kariginu Harkanda D. Nasai Victor said that Zinna may already go. Kamba Zinna Kanda. Emphysilin traga, tetracycline resistant ubegi. Udugu, recombinant ubetaragadi. Recombinant ubetaragadi, desired DNA absolani crabs and gina, TT argi region absolute. That means TT argi possin lotwoga, a pamas in Hassan de Never. That means Nagi Hariba, recombinant DNA, ubetaragadi, kadore, tetracycline the kadoni, resistant ureroi, aduna, tetracycline of a culture made in the growth of Wangamaroi. The was still Canada growth of Wangamkini, and Pisilin of culture medium the growth of Wangamkini. So I know the Na Hariba antibiotic resistant with Zinsina, Kadore, selectable marker in Ectoroga. It helped in the differentiation of Kanakana, recombinant DNA from non recombinant DNA. Okay. Next come to alternative selectable marker. So the point is that when this antibiotic resistant zin, when they function as selectable marker, uh, it takes a longer time to differentiate this recombinant DNA from non recombinant DNA. That means when antibiotic resistant zin function as selectable marker, it is a time consuming process. So because of this, an alternative selectable marker has been developed. Okay? And this procedure can differentiate DNA from uh, non recombinant DNA from recombinant DNA on the basis of their uh, ability to produce color during staining process. Okay, so we will say out this alternative selectable marker. Okay, now Maman Tokiba antibiotic recent zina selectable marker with the Tongan Tomba culture medium the growth of the Katapnina time consuming process with Aduna alternative selectable marker ma develop to re happen ara si alternative selectable marker se karinwa kan staining process ni stain to bataraga di they will produce color and when produce the color do aduda depend to kan da whether this is recombinant or non recombinant have do adu po to kan conclusion pi de aduna sta to the staining process e combine to have the yang se so for this staining procedure we have to use common substrate and here the point is that Mm, uh, during the staining process, that means in presence of this chromosome substrate, the bacterial colonies will produce blue color, indicating that uh, it contains non recombinant DNA. But if the bacterial colonies produce white or colorless colonies, it indicates that uh, the bacterial colonies contain recombinant DNA. So, like this, through staining procedure, we can easily differentiate uh, this uh, recombinant DNA from non recombinant DNA easily. Okay? Adunas the high seca in a kanda standing procedure to mutum na kuna kaisina gani chromosomic substrate sina gane on the in presence of this chromosomic substrate saying to rokanda kalikumba bacterial colonies na 
blue color but us toba targa di masai bitra adu da yauri pose kana no nan recommended di ni ni pena kamru to kodene aduga staining to kan da ke gumba bitra colonies na white or colorless colonies but us toba targa di bitra adu da ke yauri pena recommended di ni yauri na pa gane adu na staining to kan da mana purisu color do adu gi matungi na ma se recommended oi oi de hab do ko na putho pe yarane ba ona sis na ka do re na sa gi antibiotic ta recent vision na selectable marker oi bu do adra gi hena easier oi bi hele okay so this is about uh, alternative selectable marker next come to insertional inactivation so during the formation of recombinant dna we know that uh, a desired dna will be inserted in a particular region or particular site for this the gene which is present in that particular region will be removed or will be deleted because of that that particular gene will be inactivated so insertional inactivation actually it is the inactivation of certain gene due to insertion of alien dna aduna si the high share kai na kanda particular region amada nang gene ama insert to gi hai di adugi region to the lady ba dna segment do hana karau to um sange aduna जिन अमा इंसर्टेड तो मतम दा जिन अमा का दौरे इनएटिवेट तो विदा ना सिगी प्रोसेस है कि कोई है ना वी कॉल इट इंसर्शनल इनएटिवेशन का वे है ओके लेट्स से वन एग्जांपल ओके सो इन लेग ऑपरेशन पर अपन जेड जिन इट कॉल्ड फॉर बिटांग केरेटोसाइडेस बट इंसर्शन ऑफ इट डिजायर डीएनए सेमेन और जिन reason of z dna will definitely inactivate the z gene and thus there will be no synthesis of beta galactosidase aduna apuna leg operon se lower kanda kada kanda leg operon se da particular gene me yori known as z gene mana kana ko tore beta galactosidase aru hariba z gene se lok thoga adur apama gene ma ko insert ogi patara ka di na sai ka to ba leg operon se ka tore beta galactosidase ha bodo further ka doni synthesis ta ro have ne rita di porama insert ogi ka tore porama inactivated so this is about insertional inactivation and this bring me to the end of today class and in today class we have learned about the important features of cloning factor uh, about the alternative selectable marker about insertional inactivation and hope you can understand is an every point and thank you very much for your attention